We don't see defense at this level much, so it's always necessary to break it all down. From the physical attributes to the anticipation to the effort, this dude is overall next level defensively. So let's dissect it. So number one, Mitchell's anticipatory skills are insane to watch. He's pretty much moving to that spot almost before the ball handler many times. And you can see it in all of these. In other words, he's not reactive, he's proactive. And I would bet that this isn't something that he's thinking about as he's playing, of course. The game's just moving too fast for that. But what this is is a lot of experience paired with the effort to always be one step ahead of the ball handler. But once he beats him to the spot, usually either one of two things happen. One, he gets there early and on balance enough to take the contact to the chest and draw an offensive foul. It's natural for a ball handler to lower that shoulder and even extend that off arm when you cut them off this cleanly. Because they're really just looking to protect the ball at this point. Especially if it's at a high speed, taking that contact and selling it a little bit is going to be almost a guaranteed way to get a call. Or he'll brace up, get solid, and resist that defender. This takes not only serious strength, but the skill of bracing through the core at the perfect time and planting those feet behind him to give him some leverage. And having a wide base like here helps a lot because it gives him a larger base of support. So even when he's a bit higher up as he's cutting them off, he'll many times find a way to get low and widen that base of support as he prepares for that contact. Not to mention with experience, you start picking up on these cues that tell you, hey, this is a fake, not a real drive. Like here, this exaggerated swing and picking up that foot probably won't happen when an offensive player is actually ripping through to the rim. Again, not something he's thinking of, but subconsciously he perceives this and doesn't bite. So regardless, like I mentioned, with a lot of anticipation comes getting beat. It's inevitable. So one of the big money makers here is recovering after getting beat. And I've talked about this many times. But the true most important skill defensively is how well you can recover after that offensive player gets a bit of an edge. Most times this is in the form of flipping into a sprint and taking an angle like you see here. But regardless of the solution he finds for it, it seems like he's always getting back in front or at least back in the play. In terms of physical qualities, the first thing you'll notice is Mitchell's defensive first step, so to speak. Many defenders will try to cover too much space with one slide, so then they're in a weird, unathletic position afterwards. Now, Mitchell covers an insane amount of space with one big push like you see here, but still doesn't put himself in a tough position to move from. So that first initial push is really impressive, and it's a testament to his ability to move with power in the frontal plane, or moving side to side. Plus, his deceleration ability from the naked eye is up there with the best of them. The big thing here for me, though, is that it's elite in every plane. In other words, whether he's decelerating laterally, moving forwards, backwards, he's able to not only come to that quick, crisp stop, but get moving back in the other direction ASAP. Many athletes will be a bit sluggish out of that deceleration and take a bit to get out of it. But as soon as this dude hits the ground, he's out of that decel, already moving in the other direction. It's unreal. Another key point is how well he transitions into a sprint. This allows him to once again, even once he gets slightly beat, turn and sprint to that spot to cut the offense off. And lastly, this is something I've been emphasizing more and more. Defense is rarely a clean slide or a clean sprint. It's oftentimes just kind of a weird mix of movements. Crossing your feet over one step and sliding on the next, kind of rotating back and forth throughout the drive. On-ball defense isn't your typical locomotion. It's not a clean thing. Most times it's chaotic. And Mitchell seems to embrace that. He's able to take these kind of weird ways to move side to side and turn into sprints and all the above. But he's always finding a solution to stay in front of that defender. Now, when you hear the term aggression, you think of anger, tension, etc. But what I'm referring to here is being the aggressor on defense. Taking control. So you'll see Mitchell constantly closing space and sending that ball handler backwards by attacking them. He's taking these little hops to get that defender to retreat, and as that space closes and the ball handler is moving backwards, it's very tough for them to make anything work. Chance, have a chance to be superstars. Up to Pritchard. Mitchell staying right in front of him. Woo! Oh, he's got him on the right course right now. Dude. I got him, I got him. Against the defensive player of the year. Closeouts are also a really underrated skill. 
One thing you'll notice here is that he most times closes out to the side, and he's even giving them the drive one way sometimes, especially if he realizes he has the help. And because he knows that he can probably recover well enough to get back to them and make a play. But it's making them go to that side, so it's predictable now. He's not giving up both options. Also, a really good technique here is that he jumps after the shooter jumps. This is the absolute best way to not bite on pump fake, which happens way too often because we jump prematurely. So if you time that up perfectly to where you're jumping after the shooter leaves the ground, at this point you're still getting a good contest up, but you're not vulnerable to biting on these pump fakes. And then lastly, whether it's always getting a contest up on that shot, diving on the floor, whatever, Mitchell just plays with an insane motor. And this one is easier seen than explained. Prefer around 80% because these are the guys that have the ball in their hands the majority of the time. Mitchell getting after it defensively. Robinson using the safe point of the first half. So a sloppy start for the one seed. We'll have a break in the next stoppage of play. The crossover by... St and maybe the nation. And they've been better. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you took something from it. Make sure to follow me on IG at By Any Means Basketball for a lot more. Hit that subscribe button. You guys know the deal.